what it is what it do i'm a1 this is gta 5 and in this video we got another one of the top highest paying missions this one's called docks to stop it opens in rank 70 and you gotta call us to get it if you don't have it in your start menu already all right so if you never played this mission your first objective is to break into the military base you'll then have to steal a cargo bob lose the cops and then steal a container using that cargo bob and deliver the container to Lester's warehouse. Now I know I've mentioned this before but it's just like Docs of Stock 2 and American Exports. Now I did try to find another method for losing the cops. I've already showed two, one in the Docs of Stock 2 video and another way to lose the cops in the American Exports video. But honestly I couldn't find any method easier than the one I'm going to show in this video. Now I'm not sure if it matters which way you enter the military base because I know sometimes if you enter the military base on the other side police helicopters will show up and if they show up you're not going to be able to use the method I show in this video. So I'm not sure if you can go in the other side of the military base and use this method but I know if you go in the military base from this side no police helicopters will show up and you should be able to use the method I show in this video to lose your stars. And the good things about using this method guys you don't have to use a buzzer. It's worked every single time I've done it, and it's super easy, guys. So that's why I recommend using this method whenever you do this mission. All right, so after you've broken into the military base, and after you've stolen the cargo bob, the first thing you want to do is fly just outside of the military base. But you don't want to go too far, because once you get too far away from the military base, the police helicopters will show up, and it'll be a lot harder to lose your stars. So fly just outside of the military base and then elevate your altitude just a little bit so the military guards on the ground won't be able to see you. And this is by far the easiest method that I know of to lose the stars for this mission. Now after you've stolen the cargo bob and lost the cops, you'll then have to go to this location here. And as you can see, the container is located under this bridge, so you're going to have to get out of the cargo bob in order to get it. And a quick reminder, there are some Meriwether guards here, so you will have to kill a few of them before you can take the container and move it to a location where you can pick it up with your cargo bob. Now there will be more enemies that are going to show up when you're in the dock handler picking up the container. So if you're playing solo, hop out of the dock handler, take them out, and then get back in the dock handler and move the container to a location where it can be picked up with the cargo bob. And after you've gotten in the cargo bob and picked up the container, there won't be any enemy helicopters, so all you'll have to do from there is just deliver the container to Lester's warehouse. There's a lot of different ways you can complete this mission, guys. You can also try parking the cargo bob and hiding out in a train tunnel or underground in a subway tunnel. But the method that I showed in this video is the easiest method that I know of, and it's the method I would recommend using. Also, keep in mind that payouts vary, guys. It depends on how long it takes you to complete the mission. We completed this mission in about seven and a half, eight minutes. And chances are, majority of the time, you're going to end up taking longer to complete the mission. I know I do. So majority of the time, chances are you'll get a bigger payout than the one that I show at the end of this video. Also keep in mind that you get a cash bonus when you play with more people. Anyways, that's all the tips and tricks I got for Docs to Stock, one of the highest paying missions after patch 1.16. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, don't forget to do what you do. I'm A1. Thanks for watching.